Man, that thing was heavy, I'm not gonna lie. That thing has me catching my breath. Woo, this is almost a full box truck of cardboard. Man, this is a lot. Hey, good morning, you two. Here, getting my coffee to get the day started right. And you can see behind me, it's still a little rainy from this hurricane that just passed through here, uh, Hurricane Helene. So, we got a job to do. That's right, Kraken Junk Removal is back in action. It's been a slow two weeks, but it doesn't mean we're dead in the water. We're blessed to be able to do what we do. And so, yeah, we're hopping in the van right now. Um, I'm gonna actually go pick up the box truck here in a minute and head over to Johnson City. We got one of my, I wouldn't say favorite jobs to do, but it's everyone in Junk Removal has their favorite jobs that they like to do. Sorry, I'm trying to get this key in. And some people love construction debris. Um, I like the pay on construction debris, I'm not gonna lie. But we're picking up some uh, cardboard, some plastic and some packing material today and a few other items the customer doesn't want. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Uh, we'll see if we get a lot of calls for debris removal. It's pretty bad over here actually. I was not, I mean, I've been through a number of hurricanes uh, being from Florida, so I'm used to it. But up here, I guess they're not prepared in Tennessee, East Tennessee for uh, this much water and flooding. So it's been pretty bad, uh, especially over in the a Asheville, the uh, West North Carolina area. Uh, my mother-in-law, she's over there and uh, they're without electricity, uh, no running water. So uh, a couple of the dams actually broke and damaged the roads over here in uh, East Tennessee. So they had to um, call the Coast Guards in to get some of the people off the rooftop of the hospital over in Unicoi. And uh, part of the highway over there is broken damaged uh, can't drive through it I haven't seen it myself so that's just secondhand information but um, I did read some stuff about that uh, in some of the news reports and from what uh, my wife saw so uh, we're safe so we're thankful for that uh, a lot of people you know they lost homes uh, lost loved ones and uh, it's a fortunate thing to see so hopefully uh, you know we can help out those in our community by uh, getting some things cleaned up for them, providing any assistance possible. So uh, we're going to take care of this job today, but if you were in the path of Hurricane Helene, uh, let me know. How did you guys fare? Did you guys take on a lot of damage? Uh, how you guys doing? I know Jack of Hall Trades is over there in Georgia. How you doing, buddy? Doing all right, Andre? Um, I haven't seen anything, so I'm just assuming um, the better, I'm assuming the good. Um, but yeah, we're going to go take care of this job and uh, see what else the day has in store for us. I'm going to use my GoPro, but I cannot find it today. So I'm here trying to film as I, as I drive. Probably shouldn't be doing that. Uh, it can be dangerous. So I'm putting the phone down. I'm going to focus on driving. So we got the box truck and we're en route to the job in Johnson City. So, we're actually expecting more rain today. So, I do have some work that I need to do outside. So, I'm trying to get this job done so I can get to that work. But if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, drop a comment below, and hit the like button. It's free to support, it doesn't cost a thing, and it helps out my channel a lot. I would appreciate that. Uh, so, in the meantime, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. So the customer had a little bit more than what he explained on the phone, but that's okay. Cracking junk removal is going to take care of it. I'm trying to get this big rug. Um, let me show you. Oh, this thing's heavy. Oh, man. So we got this rug, and we were talking about things we take out of basements, and I said something. We had a motorcycle one time. He said, oh, that reminds me. I got a bike. So we got a bike. 
You got this light. You got, yes, that rug. You got a cubicle, a desk that goes to the cubicle. Uh, the attachment pieces to keep it upright. A little styrofoam container. I've uh, got a few more rugs, some fluorescent bulbs. That will be it for up here in the garage. Since I already started on these rugs, I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and continue with the rugs and pick these up. Uh, this one's a lot lighter. Uh. Two rugs down, one more to go. Oh, don't want to damage the roof. Fuck, it's just the rug. So, I'll get this one in there. Oh, man. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab these bulbs. We'll put them in between the rugs so they don't break. But if they do break, they will break inside the rug. So now we'll go ahead and get this part of the desk for the cubicle. Um, oh yeah, this thing got some weight to it. Customer uh, did say it works still too, so I don't know if it has all the hardware, all the pieces. So we got this bike. Man, that thing was heavy, I'm not gonna lie. That thing has me catching my breath. Whew. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this bike in real quick. So here's everything we got. Customer did add a computer, uh, got a little fan, a speaker and a dehumidifier. So, let me go ahead and put this in. Uh, all right. Let's put that back. So I had to move the van closer to the basement. Uh, there was a little bit of a walk involved, so I didn't feel like walking around the house. So uh, there's a little storm drain there. I don't want to back the truck all the way down here. So this basement clean out was a lot bigger than I thought. When I talked to the customer on the phone, he just said he had some cardboard boxes and a few items. And when I arrived, it turned into a lot of cardboard boxes and a lot of items as you can see and uh it kind of took me by surprise when i walked into this basement because it was just so much junk and it just hit me i was just trying to take it all in and figure out you know what we had to do so i wasn't about to carry all those boxes so yeah we backed up the box truck to the house so we got it backed up pretty good and uh just gonna start stacking those boxes Oh, this is almost a full box truck of cardboard. Man, this is a lot. So, uh, we got the job though, so I'm not going to complain. The price is still good on it. Um, do you guys charge less if it's cardboard? But I don't know. I don't. I charge the same price because so, it's still junk. It's still my time. 
So we got that pile. We got all these boxes over here to take. Uh, some of it's full already of like just random stuff. Um, you know, your peanuts, your packing material. Uh, you got some loose styrofoam. And then we got this whole section over here. So uh, what I'm gonna do is to avoid wasting time and cutting it all up, I'm gonna put them all in uh, the big ones first. And then if I need to cut up any other. What's this? Horny goat weed. Oof. Like that. All right, let me go ahead and show you the progress we're making so far. So uh, we got all this out here. And what was nice, a lot of these big boxes like this, they were all empty. So we were able to kind of stuff boxes like this in there. And we put small stuff in those boxes. Uh, but just to show you what we got. We got this little section here. Uh, we got that section. Again, a lot of those big boxes we can condense the smaller ones into. Uh, we got this whole section already cleared and just working on some small stuff over here, but uh, a lot more than I thought, but glad I brought the box truck. Some of these smaller boxes in there. Let's get some of this stuff condensed down. And so that way we try to save some space. I think this one might fit in there. Stack it and pack it, baby. So here's a quick look at a before and after transformation of this basement cleanout we did for our customer, showing all the junk, cardboard, and packing material that we removed. And I gotta say, our customer was very happy.